Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooke swears cleric to secrecy, and Steffi goes ballistic when Rich proposes Brooke come co-CEO. Tuesday, June 18th, 2024 moment on the bold and the beautiful, Sheila harangues to cleric about Steffi, Steffi puts hope on notice, and Rich calls an important meeting. At IL Giardino, Sheila listens as Cleric expresses unbelief to Brooke, who has just told him that Hope has passions for Finn. Brooke says it's eating her up outside and his end commodity she's proud of. Deacon muses, Hope's got the hots for Steffi's hubby. Sheila looks thoughtful. Brooke warns Deacon she has to keep this to himself. There's nothing going on with them, Hope's just starting to have passions for Finn. Cleric suppositions she wants him to keep an eye on them. Brooke says if it was over to Steffi, she'd no way let Finn in then ever again. Sheila rolls her eyes. Brooke reprises that Deacon cannot tell anyone his son has a magnet for the croaker. Anyone at all. Sheila makes a face. In the main office at Forrester, Steffi sighs and flashes to her last discussion in which Finn assured her hope would end be a problem for them. Hope comes in. She allowed. Ridge called a meeting. Steffi says he did. Hope asks what it's about. Steffi doesn't know, but the way effects are going she's set for anything. Hope turns to leave, but Steffi wants to talk to her alone. It's about my hubby. Hope does and suppose Finn's a good content for them. Steffi agrees, and hopes this is the last time they bandy him. She says they had a discussion about her and she needs to know what they talked about. Steffi C.A. and tell her what to feel about her father or Sheila, however, that's up to her, if she wants to put her family in detriment's way. What she does not anticipate is for her to try to encourage her hubby to feel the same way. You need to keep your distance from Finn. Rich walks by and says, all right. What's going on then? Hope thinks Steffi is overreacting a little bit. Steffi asks, because I am questioning your judgment? Hope does and suppose it's fair to her or Finn. Steffi asks Ridge if he sees what's going on then. Why are you telling me about my hubby? Hope says she's not doing that. Steffi says she is, and she's been doing it a lot recently. Ridge tells Hope he knows she means well, but Steffi's explained why Finn C.A. and be around his birth mother. Steffi tells Hope if she disagrees with that, she should and be around her hubby. He understands the graveness of this and always puts his family first. Carter comes by and Steffi asks what the meeting is about. Ridge says they re-staying for one further person. Brooke. At I.L. Giardino, Brooke tells Deacon he needs to handle what she told him precisely. It's complicated because of Steffi, Ridge, and the company. It could affect so much, Cleric is just concerned about hope. Sheila continues to hear as Brooke tells Cleric that Hope feels Steffi doesn't appreciate her hubby enough and that she's being controlling of Finn, especially where Sheila's concerned. Cleric sees where Hope's coming from. Brooke tells him that's not helpful. Deacon argues that Sheila is Finn's birth mother and Steffi has nothing to worry about. Brooke shoots him a look. Deacon's just glad that Hope's keeping an open mind. Brooke says Hope has enterprises about Sheila too. She has to get back to the office. Cleric thanks her for telling him. Brooke reminds him to keep mum. She thinks she got through to her and hopes she ll put an end to her passions for Steffi's hubby. Sheila shakes her head. Latterly, Cleric takes a call from Hollis and assures him he ll check the temperature of the fridge. He also wonders where Sheila is before flashing back to their marriage. Sheila appears and greets her handsome hubby. They spoon and he asks where she's been. Sheila shrugs, nowhere, really, and asks if she missed commodity. Deacon says she did not The flirt, but Sheila thinks he has commodity on his mind. Deacon says it's just work. Sheila C.A. and stop allowing about Finn stopping by earlier. She knows he wants to know her. She could be a big part of his life if not for Steffi. At Forrester, they re still staying for Brooke and Hope asks for a showing for her line. Steffi says it's not a good idea and Ridge says Carter will look at the figures. 
Brooke arrives and apologizes for losing track of time. There was someone she had to see. Ridge says it's time to change gears. This is important. It has to do with the future of Forrester Creations. At I.L. Giardino, Sheila tells Deacon it's so painful knowing that her son would accept her, but Steffi keeps pulling him down. Deacon argues, she's his woman. Babe. Sheila harangues that there's no logic with Steffi, who's so enduring. She refuses to admit that she's changed. Cleric and Finn have seen it, indeed Hope is willing to show her some understanding. Deacon warns his sprat is end exactly joining the Sheila Carter fan club. Sheila argues she came to their marriage. Deacon warns her against trying to muscle into Finn and Steffi's family. Sheila wonders what her life would be like if her son was with a woman who was willing to give her a chance. At Forrester, Steffi asks Ridge if this is a new issue. Ridge says it's commodity they need to rethink. It's him and who he's in this company. He needs to concentrate on design. Especially with Thomas and his pater. Out of the picture. Ridge loves working with Steffi, and he see and stay to see how she leads this company forward. Hope asks if he's stepping down as CEO. Ridge is stepping up and will still be there if they need commodity. Steffi says the company needs his leadership. Ridge argues if they do and have commodity to vend, they do and have a company. He tells his son that he doesn't want to put her in a position where she drowns, not if they've someone who can help who has been at the company for times. He took the liberty of talking to their biggest buyers, and to International, and spoke to them about the bedroom line. They were all veritably agitated. Not just about the line, but also the icon behind the line. Brooke gasps, Ridge, you didn't have to do that. He's glad he did because it reminded him of how important she's to Forrester and how happy he'd be if she did just say yes. Steffi asks, say yes to what? Ridge tells Brooke, I see I ain't let this go. He tells the table, I want Brooke to be on the administrative platoon. Steffi gops, what? She thinks he see I ain't be serious, you want Brooke to be our co-CEO? Ridge does ain't watch about titles and neither does Brooke. Hope thinks it's an awful idea. Carter says the clientele would love it. Steffi asks her father, did you suppose I'd be okay with this? Why did and you come to me in private? We re a platoon. Brooke and I we surely are ain't. She's not going to hear to me, and I am not going to hear to her. I'm not running our family business, Forrester Creations, with Brooke Logan. Sheila Carter tests Deacon Sharp's fidelity the bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Sheila and Deacon were swimming in wedded bliss until John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, stopped by. Finn's advertisement to Sheila threw her for a circle because she allowed. She was making progress in her relationship with Finn. Still, Steffi won that round. Sheila just happened to walk back in just in time for Brooke to tell Deacon a huge secret that Nell Bone differently was supposed to know. Still, Cleric needs to realize that the walls now have cognizance. Once Sheila gets an idea in her head, there's no talking her out of it. Will Sheila pull Cleric into a plot to break up her son's marriage? BNB spoilers Ridge Forrester drops a lemon on Steffi Forrester Steffi is formerly upset that Ridge sided with Hope Logan. Steffi feels that every time Ridge is with Brooke, the Foresters take a aft seat to them and it's about to be again. Ridge is formerly wanting to revive Brooke's bedroom. Still, Ridge's new suggestion could be just too important for Steffi to handle. Ridge isn't the commercial type, and he wants no part of it. Still, Brooke is a fully different story. Brooke has run Forrester Creations before, and she has a head for business. In Crest's mind, this is a no-brainer because Brooke is the perfect choice to take over for him. Unfortunately, Steffi doesn't agree. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Sheila's fidelity test, Ridge surprises Steffi, Brooke responds.